Oh my god. Ugh. <laughs> uh. In our last video, we turned this plain IKEA cabinet into a lovely rattan sideboard for our living room. If you haven't seen the video yet, hit the link in the description box to give it a watch. So for this next project, we wanted to take elements of this cabinet and DIY some built-in shelving for our dining room. This is what it looked like before, and this is how it went. We knew we wanted to use the same IKEA cabinet for the base of the shelving, but first we had to make a platform and build around it so that it would be secured in place and wouldn't move around. It was so wonky, it's so funny. But the, the reality is it doesn't matter because it's just being screwed into in the back, so yeah. it doesn't make a difference. So it's basically, it's so that this doesn't wobble around in this container. Yeah, so it doesn't matter too much how straight, because we're going to put another piece of wood over the top of that anyway. Side. No, no, so if we screw that into that block at the back. Oh, just above it? Over. Just on top of it. Oh, so it, so it, pu so it pushes it out a little uh, bit, yeah? And this, this one goes in here like this, you see? That's pretty much perfect. I mean, it's a thick weight. I think you're right with this piece. We pop this piece in at some point, because we, we basically haven't used it, so we can just use this. Yeah. So we chop this off at the right length, and we make this part of the, part of the thing. We are, do we bring it right out? Yeah. As so, in, like, we bring it there yeah. and then add wood. Add the wood there and there. All right, cool. I think this is going to, go, going to be good. So if we take this back out, then I can, well, we can attach all these pieces if you want. Okay, let's Get it all it. done. not actually technically correct yeah because it just visually would look really weird because is it st could it come afford even more um, what's happening then just filling uh screw holes up with wood filler mm. hopefully you won't need to, <laughs> to unscrew it ever, ever again <laughs> are you sure we want to do this yeah well this is where the shelves are going to be now well no the shelves can actually be removed So here's a little update on the built-in. Um, we did it quite a long time ago now, but we've not finished it off, mainly because we've not been able to find a colour for it that we liked. However, we have finally found one! So the plan today is I'm literally just going to paint the inside of it the colour that I found. Um, I think I'm going to leave the shelves pine in here that's what i'm thinking at the moment but i guess it's one of those things where eventually if i want to change the inside and update it i can do that but for now i think we're just going to paint everything outside 
and the shelves as well. So the colour that we have decided to go for is this one. It's hard to kind of see it on camera. This is like the first tester coat that we did on the front of the door. I just feel like I just wanted a pop of something bright in this room because I think the temptation is to just paint everything white, which, you know, there's nothing wrong with that at all. But I know that we wanted more colour in the house and I feel like having a colourful bookshelf area is just a good way of doing that. So I think that's what we're going to go for. The test has only come as an emulsion paint. So I literally just went out to buy um, a wood paint. So I'm going to use that on the top and the sides of the cabinet. And then I'm going to use the emulsion paint on the back wall, just in case. Right, so should we get the staple down there? Yes. Can I put headphones on? I'm scared. Joy. <laughs> I'm scared of the noise. Do you want me to just do one more noise? Okay, you ready? Yeah. And put that. Do you need both your hands to pull it? Yeah. Oh, so yeah, I'm cute. weak. So what's happening then? I can't do it. Look, <laughs> look at this technique. I'm scared. Why? I did it. Yeah. So so. I don't like that. <laughs> Elliot, don't want me to staple myself to, together. I don't know what's Sorry. wrong with me. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Goodness me. <laughs> <laughs> the build up is so intense that you're getting that I'm like, yeah, what's gonna happen? I can't do it. You can, you've done it. Right. Do I need to be faster? No, not faster. Yeah, faster. Push down at the front and pull the trigger. You can do both. <laughs> Why just, are you like this? You know, the thing that's so annoying is this is the easiest part Turn of the, the whole thing. Yeah, you, you've done things that are much harder than this. Let's see. It might be broken. Yeah. I don't know. Let's just check. No, it's not broken at all. Do you want to keep trying? No, well, okay. I, give up, I give up now. Good. <laughs> saves us some awkward <laughs> conversations, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it saves an hour of joy trying to use this, just to prove a point. Listen! That's my baby. <laughs> Once the doors were done, we spent some time adjusting them to make sure they were hanging straight. Then we were finally able to start filling the shelves with our stuff. And this was the final result. Considering we haven't made built-in shelving before, we're really happy with how this turned out. I really love the colour and I can't wait to have some more fun styling these shelves even more. We still need to pick a colour for the dining room though, as you can see the swatches. So if you have any suggestions, please feel free to let us know down below. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, give us a like and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye!